Hey guys, Armin Gun here today with finally another full format video. Fun topic. I figured I'd go through all my most popular videos of 2021. Undeniably, that was the M1 Garand taking top spot. If you guys want to argue with me on pronunciation, you can see a short that I'm going to post tomorrow. Actually, that I posted yesterday because this is, anyways, should be live. But for your viewing pleasure, we're going to put an empty M block in, which you can do in this case. I'll do a separate video discussing my super weird grand. There you go. It's me pandering to my audience. And discuss how it has the, uh, <laughs> that gets all the ping on demand. So cool stuff. And uh, that did not work out well. That was totally unintentional, but uh, slow we caught it. I think my old girl needs a little bit of cleaning. Anyways, I did a short on my most popular gun of 2021, which was that one. So I already talked about it. We'll talk about it some more in future videos. But rolling along, we have the C96 Mauser broom handle. This thing you guys absolutely loved. It's in the Resident Evil game and a bunch of other cool things, but this guy is cool. Extra cool because, well, its holster also functions as a stock. There's a little groove in the back of the grip right there, and this guy slides right on in, clicks, and there you go. And no, the ATF or AFT, whichever you prefer, is going to break down my door over this because, well, I'm not in the States. But even if I were, you are exempt as long as it's an original stock because the C96 and a couple other guns are just really cool. And historical and stuff, so they got a cool exemption. But just for you, we'll run this gun once as well. Oh, just, just beautiful. Kind of like the Garand. I have to stick my finger in here to uh, release the bolt because there's not any rounds in it. It is fed by stripper clips. As you can see, it was empty, so I'll show you this here. It's short recoil, which is really cool. The initial recoil of the gun comes back, and that's what actually what unlocks the bolt inside. Then that's where the slide stops. The bolt travels the rest of the way, picks up a new round, and you're good to go. We generally be pretty careful dry firing an old gun like this, but uh, a lot of you will see this, so we'll say let's do it. Oh, overall, pretty good trigger. Let's do the reset. Soft, basically not tactile at all. Can't even feel it. It'll be nice that time. There you guys go, the second most popular gun on my channel in 2021. Then for some reason you guys really liked this thing, though I don't think it was because of the gun itself, but rather because of the title of the video, which was How to Flip Cock. And uh, yeah, after telling you not to do this at home, I showed you how to do it. And I got trolled out pretty hard for it, but hey guys, again, you guys watched the video, so. Now a little behind the scenes action is that video is kind of a lie. Because of the type of lever action this one is, you can see it opens up from the top. Some have a closed up top receiver and they open through the side instead. Well, I'm not sure if you can quite see it in this video. Maybe if you watch very carefully in that short, you can see it. So the first thing you do is obviously you crank it open. That presents a new round from the feed tube right there. Because this is an open gun and because the swinging has a centrifugal force, well, that round just about always seems to fly out around the bottom. And then the gun comes back home and you close the breech and it's closed on an empty chamber. So a little bit of Hollywood magic in that video, but uh, yeah, wouldn't actually work with this type of gun. You could prove me wrong, but there's probably examples out of there that maybe hold the retain the round a little more securely. Maybe it does work, but it doesn't in this one. And yes, it is true. You do end up sweeping yourself in the act of doing a flip cock. But if you know what you're doing and you understand guns, you'll actually know that you're not putting yourself in any danger while doing so because the entire time, the action is open when it's sweeping you like that, right? So, and by the way, I'm just sweeping like my bicep. So not in any danger. I'm not actually doing this in front of my face because you should never point a gun at anything you don't want to destroy. That is like the first rule of guns, but the action remains open all throughout the cycle until the gun is basically in front of you and the closing bit is right when you get your grip on it. That's when the action is closed and the gun is able to actually fire. So realistically, the gun isn't actually dangerous until it's pointed in what should be a relatively safe direction in front of you. Again, exercise caution, but there you go. Now here's a lever gun that you can actually do it with. This is a full size. There you go. Honestly, if you have the space, I actually thought the little one was easier, but the little one is harder because it's not balanced. All the weight is up front with the mare's leg. This guy is a lot more balanced, so it kind of just wheels around. And because the top of the receiver is closed and instead it opens through the side, your round should theoretically be retained and you can redo it. Check out my buddy PewView on Instagram if you want to see a lot of really cool flip and content. Next up, we had the triple barrel, short barrel shotgun, the Kiapa triple threat. This thing is really cool and uh, we had a lot of fun with it. And no, I'm sorry to burst your bubble. All three barrels do not fire at once 
But this does work almost like a semi-automatic because put it on fire, you can get those three barrels off as fast as you can pull that trigger. Next up was the grease gun. This is an M3A1, or rather the improved version of the grease gun. A little further simplified, doesn't have that cocking handle, which I kind of wish it did because they're really cool, but they were known to break off. So they simplified it with this guy and they also included a little mag loader into the stock there because, well, the mags suck. And of course I can't do a video with this thing anymore without, now you're shooting, well, now you're shooting, now you ain't. Now the grease gun versus the Thompson, this is, well, it's a bit of a tin can, but <laughs> it's pretty cool. And something crazy about the grease gun, when I got this thing shipped to me, it shipped without the bolt. This is shipping regulations here because it's a machine gun. I was like, wow, the grease gun is super light. And then I got the bolt and realized the bolt pretty much weighs as much as the gun. So uh, it's, it's a heavy girl, despite not really maybe looking like it. By the way, this is why the mags suck. They are double stack, single feed, and uh, yeah. Not very fun to load past the first few rounds, which is why you got this little tool up in here to assist pushing the rounds down, getting another one started. Let's give you guys a trigger pull over here too. Yeah, that's not a very good trigger, but it does have the nice chugga chugga chugga, 450 rounds a minute, which makes it a dream to keep on target. <laughs> that mass in there, definitely the first shot, it's, you, she wiggles a little bit and the sights are absolute garbage. Then the old Benelli M4 makes a round redemption. Now this would have been my second most popular gun of the year had I not messed up. I had a video showing you guys how to ghost load this thing that had over 10 million views. And then I realized much to my horror, I did it wrong. That video is no longer up there because as much as it sucked deleting a video with 10 million views and it was actively getting a quarter million views a day still, I don't like misinformation and I like spreading it even less. But we did a redemption video, how to ghost load for dummies, so go check that out if you haven't already. We're clear, red for dead. When the hammer's dropped, you pull the bolt back, it stays back, and this is my favorite. Dummy round, chuck it in there, boom diggity. Now, the Benelli M4 will be back for 2022, but we're sticking this thing on a strict diet because it's a little heavy. Honorable mention goes to the USW because, just look at that beauty. What a cool little gun. This has long since been one of my favorite firearms. I just think they're so cool. I think this style of firearm has a lot of merit and uh, man, I just, I just really dig it. Really nice single action trigger. Double action. Uh, uh. They make a compact version of this, but I really wish they did a full auto version. And because I did say the ASMR videos were some of my most popular, I should uh, give an homage to that. Also, all the big channels got one of these things now, so I don't know, is it even cool anymore or is it just overdone? Nope, that, <laughs> that never gets old. Also, that's how you retain it. You just push it in and there's a little clasp right there that clasps around this ring around the muzzle device. Then you push this button right here to let her go. But Elkans, my video on Elkans surprised me was also one of my most popular videos this year. So here we go, guys. See you on the next one, Armored Gun, out. Boom diggity. Hey, you're still there. Well, after editing this thing like a week later, I realized that I didn't give you a trigger pull on this guy. Or the Grand, but who cares? But I figured this gun being what it is, you guys probably wanna see a trigger pull. So I'll prove clear. Here we go. Cross block safety, that's safe, that's fire. Hammer's right here. So I'm gonna hold this kind of janky, but then you can see the hammer drop. Not a very good trigger, by the way. And yes, that is exactly what you think it is. Ah, screw it.